Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Greetings, my dear beloved children. Today we will go on talking about present day system of education and talk about its physical component this time. The things now in progress in this sphere, in all the countries of the world, by the way, are the best to show what globalists actually are. Education is just the sphere that allows them to manipulate people's consciousness putting into children's heads what the deep state needs. Of course, they do not act directly but through their intermediaries in the power institutions of most countries of the world. So, to please their momentary interests the world history has been rewritten more than once, the one that often made heroes of those who were considered criminals not long ago and vice versa. In correspondence with political state of affairs that is also conducted by globalists they shuffle political figures and history personalities like a pack of cards so as to present them to people in the perspective beneficial to them at this moment. And their widest scope of activity is, no doubt, history and geography that are followed by political science and sociology. The textbooks in these subjects have been rewritten so many times now that it is impossible to get to the root of the things. Yet, for the majority of school children and students it is textbooks that are the basics that they will be keeping through all their life. This is as far as knowledge falsification is concerned. But the evil as large is featured by its quality, too. In the age of speed and technological progress as present time is often called, children get rather superficial knowledge. So, for example, it has become fashionable since long ago to read adapted books that are helpfully provided in plenty to school children by the Internet. As a result, a huge layer of literature that is a treasury of every nation and its spiritual values and traditions keeper, let alone the beauty and richness of the language, passes by the young generation that limit themselves only to the plot aspect of these works so as to be able to guess the correct answer in the exam. This is where lack of speaking skills, surprising poverty of the language and inability to express one's thoughts come from. All these together influence people's literacy since it mostly depends on the quality and quantity of the literature read by them, not on the memorizing of grammar or spelling rules. The human brain features photographic memory, like a hard disk of a computer it writes down everything ever read by a person and the necessary files as vivid and figurative expressions, beautiful phrases and grammatically correct constructions later come to their speech oral or written automatically. This is what makes a well-read person different from those who limited themselves to notes on classical literature and whose speech is poor and illiterate. Unfortunately, now language is getting increasingly primitive which is also facilitated by appearance of mobile phones. Exchange of short messages substitutes once valid human communication both real life and written. Epistolary genre as such is swiftly sliding into oblivion, yet, it was the thing that revealed the depth of the human soul, all the spectrum of people's emotional experience and reflection. Thereby, gradually having subjugated education system in most countries of the world, Globalists have managed to create a generation of spiritually poor people that are brought up exclusively on material values and that are so easy to control. Here we will stop for today. Loving you endlessly, Father Absolute spoke to you.